Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Kleppner, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a lot of noise coming in from outside. There's sounds, sounds of a neighbor who's maybe drilling, maybe the mic is picking it up, beautiful sounds, my window is open, there's, there's a, a nursery school near where I live, and the beautiful sounds of children are coming into my apartment where I'm filming. Birds are chirping. I don't know if the mic is picking that, that up, but there are all these wonderful sounds. The sound of a drill, the sound of children playing, and the sounds of birds chirping. Let's include it all. Let's include all of these sounds of life. Because that's what they are. They're all sounds of life. So before we begin our sound meditation, which helps us to integrate the teachings, We have a teaching from Kitzur Shulchan Aruch, Code of Jewish Law, and we're focusing on the, the mystical aspects of, of Jewish tradition, Jewish belief and faith. And these are not just for Jewish people, but these are for everybody. The, all, all humanity can benefit from from these beautiful teachings. Pride is an extremely wicked quality, and a man is forbidden to display it even slightly. Rather, one should train himself to be humble. As our sages commanded, be very very humble. How can one train himself to be humble? One should always speak gently. One's head should be bent over with one's eyes pointed downward, but one's heart should be directed upward. One should regard everyone else as greater than himself. If the other person is a Torah sage of greater stature, one is obligated to honor him. If the other person is wealthier, he is also deserving of honor. As the Talmud relates, Rabbi Yehuda HaNasi would honor the rich. One should think that since God granted him this wealth, he is surely worthy of it. If, on the other, if the other person is on a lower level, both with regard to wisdom and financial standing, one should consider him more righteous. Since he is less learned, should he commit a sin, it is considered to be an inadvertent and involuntary act. However, when one commits a sin oneself, it is considered to be a willful violation. If a person has these thoughts in mind, he will never be proud and will prosper. And before we start our sound meditation, I uh, need to say a few words to elaborate on these, on this teaching. We, we live in a generation in which many of us have very poor self-esteem. We need to do whatever we can to feel good about ourselves as long as we are doing so in an upright 
way, in a way that God approves of. At the same time, we need to look around. If we see somebody who's very wealthy, to say, God bless this person with great wealth. God is so good. Look at the wonderful things God does for this person by giving them wealth. If we see somebody who's very learned, we need to say, God is so wonderful. Look at how wonderful God is. God has given this person great wisdom, whether in the sciences or in philosophy. A chess player, they have the wisdom to know how to move the pieces just right so that they can win the game of chess. This is a wisdom. Wow, God gave this person wisdom. Amazing. Look at how beneficent God is. We need to always look for the good. Look for the good. The good in others. And the good that God does for others. And to be grateful. Not just for what God does for us. But to be grateful for what God does for others. And in so doing, we will always be humble. And with that having been said, sound healing. need to listen for the sound, for the silence between the sounds. We need to listen for the sound in the silence.
Thank you for watching. If you like the work I do, please give this give this class a like. Give it a thumbs up. And share it with your friends. And if you really like the work I do, please don't hesitate to become a member of my patron community. And let's grow together.